combing is used for hairlines, part lines, men's hair, um, painting out gray. Combing is also a really great technique for you to use when you're scared. You know, when you're just like, mm, I don't know about that. That lasagna looks awfully big. <laughs> okay? Combing is really like spaghetti. So when you're trying to do that, so if you're nervous and you're like, you know, I don't know, I just, this lady, if I get wide, it's going to be weird. I'm not sure she's going to like it. However, I'm going to show you that I can paint the smallest of piece with a brush. So don't be thinking that every piece has to be that wide. All right? So the comb, you have to have a comb like this. You cannot have a comb like that. All right? The reason for that is because you have to have the hook on the bottom to make it work. So you've got to have this kind of comb. It can't have a hook on it. You know those cutting combs that have those little cute little hooks? It can't have a hook on it as well. Okay, so we're going to take this. We're going to load the product. And this is a very important part. So we're going to load this product. And you notice my brush is going how? Up and down. Up and down. It's not going like that, is it? It's just up and down. So for me, the reason for that is for me to get it really good into the teeth of my comb. You see how that's loading in nicely? See? Okay, so I'm using that small part of my comb. Here's my crochet hook. So I'm just going to take a small section here just to show you. And I'm going to, I'm going to hook the piece. So when I hook it, it pulls out like that. That's why you have to have the end of your comb. So you hook and you pull out and get the tangles out. Then I can't go like this because it won't work. I have to take my hand and go under and hold like this. Then I take my comb and I go straight in and I comb the highlight in the hair like so. And there is your comb piece. A, a little bit. Mm -hmm. So let me just do one more since that one wasn't perfect. This is not for really super, super, super long hair either. And the reason for that is by the time you get to the ends, you have no product on your comb. But for me, just to show you something different, I'm going to take my comb, I'm going to hook it in, I'm going to pull it out like that, not too much, Oops. <laughs> sorry, pull it like that, take my comb, I'm going to go here, and I'm going to comb the product into the hair. So this is a really good technique to use for just little baby lights, little tiny highlights, hairlines, part lines, and then. Are you going into the middle of the section? Yes, so I'm going to the meat of the section. Now I'm going to take a little bit and I'm just going to show you that I can take a very tiny highlight as well. You see? So it doesn't mean that paint brushing is only for big lasagnas. So you can see that I have a tiny piece there and a tiny piece there. Okay? Any questions? Do you okay. do many of the smaller highlights? Or uh, we have lots of people that do them all day long. I personally um, feel the fashion. Um, sometimes if a girl wants baby lights around the hairline, this is a really great usage of a way to do it. But I can get it as small as I need it. So usually I don't, I don't. Only because of how good I am with the brush. But I have people that do only painting with that. It's just a softer highlight altogether. Okay?